Hey doll, hey babes, hi Johan, how's it going? Welcome to today's queer history lesson with me, your moon tour, Shane Daniel Byrne. Today's lesson is all about queer nightlife. In recent years, queer nightlife has been having quite the moment, darling. Iconic gay nightclubs like the George and club nights like Mother pre-COVID were regularly packed to the sweaty rafters and events like drag brunches book out on a regular basis. But for a long time, nightlife culture was far more than a way to let your hair down and go dancing for a few hours. For the LGBTQ plus community, nightlife has served as a safe haven to escape societal persecution and gay bars and nightclubs have been the building blocks for acceptance in the community. In 1979, the National Gay Federation opened the Hirschfield Centre in Dublin's Temple Bar. The centre was a headquarters for the NGF, but also housed a support services, a cinema, a cafe, and at the weekends, La Discoteca. The disco attracted hundreds of people every single week and was known for playing the latest up and coming records before anywhere else in Dublin. Around the same time, an Irish trans organisation, Friends of Aon, ran a weekly club, Lola's, on Thursday nights in the Parliament Inn, now the Turk's Head, where transgender people could dress how they wanted and be themselves, even if just for a few hours. Some years after this, in 1983, Loafer's Bar in Cork was opened. Although not initially opened specifically as a gay bar, it became a safe and welcoming meeting place for LGBTQ plus members and became primarily a gay bar in the years that followed. It had particular significance to Cork's lesbian and bisexual women, as it hosted a women's night every Thursday in the back bar. When Loafer's closed suddenly in 2015, it was considered the oldest running gay bar in Ireland. I've actually been there myself. I got in for free because I was with um, Panty Bliss. Sorry to name drop, but look, I'll tell you about that again when the bars are back open. At a time when laws criminalising homosexuality still existed, these venues were places of great importance where the LGBTQ plus community could be accepted as themselves. Today, the effect of COVID-19 has hit the LGBTQ plus nightlife hard with venues forced to close their doors. And artists and venues are finding innovative ways to keep queer nightlife thriving online, but they are no doubt eager to open their doors again. Although Ireland has come a long way in its attitudes towards the LGBTQ plus community and the culture no longer needs to hide underground for the most part, it's still not truly equal and safe queer spaces are just as important as ever. Proud to stand, proud to party. See rte.ie forward slash pride.